Trading Car Mechanic here. Today's video is entitled, This Stock is Fired. Mm, or maybe I'm going to title it, um, I'm Getting Out of This Stock Right Now. Before we begin, let me remind you that uh, I am a car mechanic, a retired car mechanic. I am not a financial advisor. But stick with me through this video and see if you agree with my logic behind getting rid of this stock. And don't forget to comment below because I'd like to get your opinion on whether you would stick with this stock or maybe you would get out of it as well. We'll go to my portfolio and I have 17 and I think it's, it's just way too many. And if you Google how many stocks should I own, you'll get all kinds of answers uh, anywhere from you don't need more than three or 10 is ideal, or you should have 10 to 15. So I was shooting for the 10 to 15 and 17 is just too many to stocks to follow. So how do I decide which one of these I'm going to get rid of? So I'll take you through my thought process and I'm going to get rid of this one today. It's IGBH. And the reason that I added this is because it's a bond fund and I was looking to create some stability uh, in my portfolio to compensate for this stock down here which is called Coney and as you can see this stock here has a dividend yield of 90 percent now if you can imagine that you had a CD uh, in a bank that was earning five percent you would be happy so you can see that this 90 percent is very attractive uh, but you can also see that the stock is down 90 cents today or 3.98%. And this downward movement of the stock takes away from the yield of the dividend. So I wanted to compensate this. I have a couple of these volatile stocks and I wanted to compensate by adding some bond funds. So this one here, I thought I loved it and I'll click on it and I'll show you why I thought I loved it. Um, it's called the iShares Interest Rate Hedged Long-Term Corporate Bond ETF. Yes, it's a long name, but I really like this word hedged. And then when I go down into the, you know, re, uh, the research that's available through E-Trade, they have these fund ratings. And I've learned to trust Morningstar. And Morningstar gave this a five-star rating. Not exactly sure why. I clicked on Morningstar and they had great things to say about it. And that's what made me click the buy button uh, on this. And they weren't the only fund, I'm sorry, they, they weren't the only rating service that had a favorable view of the fund. And but here's why I decided that I'm going to get rid of it today. If you read about it, which I knew this before, um, it tracks the BlackRock interest rate hedged long-term corporate bond index. So it, this is not a government bond. It's a corporate bond fund. And, you know, I'm not a fan of BlackRock, but when it comes to money, it's kind of good to have them on, on your side because... BlackRock makes a lot of money. They're, they have extremely smart executives. So although I'm not a fan of BlackRock, I'm not going to bet against them when it comes to money. So when you look at the holdings of this particular corporate bond fund, 89, let's just call it 90%, is invested in this uh, iShares 10-year investment grade corporate bond ETF. It's called IGLB. So my fund invests in this fund. So right off the bat, why don't I just invest in this fund, right? So I take a look. The, well, the, the reason is, is because this has a monthly dividend of 7.21%. The other fund doesn't pay a dividend like that. But it only turns out to be 15 cents a share. So let me uh, get back on track and take you over here to this IGLB. So this is IGLB. And 
It's the corporate bond ETF. And when we look at the Morningstar rating for this fund, this really doesn't make sense because this fund is only three stars and the other fund was five stars and 90% of its holdings are in this fund. So you, you get my drift on this, I'm sure. But I wanted to see what are the top 10 holdings of this corporate bond fund. A government bond is very stable, but when it comes to corporate bonds, they're only as good as the companies that you're investing in. So at the top here, we have Anheuser-Busch. Well, you guys know what happened there, right? With uh, um, some advertising issues and, uh, you know, it's a strong company and uh, it's not so bad. But if we go down to the next one, we have a, a Tesla investment. Well, Tesla's cool, but I don't invest in Tesla because it's just too volatile. And Elon Musk is amazing, but he comes out and says some things and then the stocks go down. So it's just a, um, it's just not real reliable. And again, I was looking for a bond fund for reliability. CVS here, I don't know what's going on with CVS, but I can tell you that they've closed a bunch of stores in my area. And uh, these CVS stores are, are turning towns into, uh, you know, have a lot of uh, vacant buildings. And then Goldman Sachs, real strong bank, but I don't believe in investing in banks because the banking situation is kind of shaky right now. You've seen we've had all kinds of problems with banks. Then we come down to Pfizer. Well, Pfizer is in a downward motion because of, you know why, you know, the, the main thing they had going is nobody wants that anymore. So then we move down to a Warner Media. And it, when it comes to all of the media companies, this is my least favorite. And then we have AT&T. Well, they used to be good. And now we got Boeing. Well, you've seen their, their planes are just, they continue to fall apart. Right. And the stock continues to go down. And the, the, the bad news for Boeing, it just seems to be a new story every day. So they, they invest again in Anheuser-Busch in a different arm of that company. And then the same thing with AT&T. So I look at this and I say, I don't want any part of this. And if we go back to the IGBH, let's remember that 90% of this fund, which is supposed to be five-star rated, is invested in the corporate bond fund that I have no interest in. So today is the day. I will go ahead and I'll sell this stock. I really don't care that it's down three cents and that I'm going to lose. I think it's $6 I'm going to lose on my investment. But I want to get rid of a couple of these uh, positions just so it's easier to, to track. And I want to get rid of my least favorites. And so far, this is my least favorite. So thank you for uh, sticking with me through this video. And... I have uh, upcoming, I'm going to do a deep dive into that Coney stock I showed you at the beginning. So I'm hoping that you will subscribe. And uh, thanks again for stopping by. This is the Trading Car Mechanic, and I'm gone.